Just because it's raining doesn't mean training stops. On the way to the dojo, we get our Sunday morning workout in and uh, hopefully find a towel. Bom dia, mais um dia maravilhoso em nessa terra. Oh boy. We made it to the dojo, no problem. Uh, yeah, fairly crappy day outside, but that's fine. Nothing's going to stop us from working on our training today and uh, preparing for our upcoming event. So, we're going to do the workout, uh, sorry, warm up first. Uh, today, I'm going to work on uh, kata. I need four kata for the upcoming event. So, there's a, uh, a new kata that I'm working on that I haven't put too much time in. So, I've got about a month, month and a half left to get that ready. Uh, so see what I can do uh, First though, we're gonna get our warm-up going so I'm gonna do 20-25 uh, minutes on the treadmill But just to get a nice light jog get a, a bit of a sweat going and then uh, we'll work on kumite and kata So let's go Five-minute warm-up's done. Got a good sweat on. Grab itself some water. And it's time to work on kata. Even though it's Sunday, no breaks. It's your competition. They're training just as hard, if not harder, than you are. Well, let's get to it.
Kata practice is done here for now. I'm uh, working on Seisan and uh, Seiru for my main kata for competition, and uh, San Seiru, and probably a fourth kata from a different system. More than likely Gojo Ru, just because the uh, performance style is similar for competition. If you haven't had a chance to work out with a weight at best, I highly recommend it. An amazing workout and a true test, uh, test your balance for sure. You'll find yourself wobbling or moving or a little bit of shift when you didn't, uh, didn't really realize it. And the extra 20 pounds or 30 pounds in the weight vest, whichever one you're using, really, really helps demonstrate, demonstrates the gaps or where you need correction. Also to always make sure that you're recording uh, your, your, your workouts. Um, when you play it back, play it back at a slower speed and you'll really see you really see the errors. So when I when I upload this to YouTube, more than likely I'll I'll slow things down or put some arrows and point out uh, some of the the gaps that I've seen. And just by reviewing the video, when I took my water breaks, I can definitely see that uh, that I have some errors and some corrections that that certainly need to be done. And this is competition orientated, not necessarily for for uh, or not at all for self protection. But, uh, I mean, 
a competition element of it, uh, going after true and correctness of form is absolutely essential to to your karate practice, whether or not you're you're going for competition or for for self defense. So uh, yeah, re record it and uh, record yourself working out. Play it back at slow speed, and you can really really pick out where your errors are, where you need to work on for improvement. So a few more minutes, and then into uh, stretching and my cool down. Here we go. The workout's finished here for the day. Um, like many of us that are in the over 40 category, we're not carded by any means, so we work regular full-time jobs, and then of course we, we train when we can. And so today is Sunday, so my full-time job I have off, and then uh, uh, this evening my one of my businesses will open at three o'clock, and uh, it will carry on till, till 9 p.m. tonight. So, I mean, a 12 to 14 hour day is normal, and anyone that's that's following this in the over 40 category, you know what I mean. Your uh, your your work and family life, uh, I mean, takes up so much of your time. And of course, we try to work in uh, our training time whenever we can. So, workout's finished for the day. Gonna run run back to the uh, back to the unit, grab a shower, and uh, maybe have a little snooze, and then we'll come back and uh, I'll open up uh, open up our business, our shop here for the evening. So, hope you enjoyed it and. We'll see you again soon.